I'm very passionate about giving you side hustle ideas, particularly passive income ones. Passive income where we create something once of value and you can sell it and keep selling it even when you sleep. So it's not about giving up your time for money, like a traditional job. It's actually about creating things that people are looking for that you can add value. I do this in my own business. It's one of the ways that we created time freedom. So we have a life where our income is created really without us giving up any time in an interview job. So in this video I want to share with you three secret ways you might not have thought to make passive income actually using books. There's no writing required and I'm going to share these with you and you can actually make these books for Amazon or Etsy or eBay wherever you want completely independent but I think you're going to love them as inspiration. So before we get started, I want to give you an illustration of why it's important to add value when you're creating things. So let's take, for example, my phone. If I told you this was worth thousands of pounds, would you believe me? Well, it looks like an iPhone, absolutely is. I think it's an iPhone, I want to say 12. I want to say something like that. It's not the latest iPhone, but it's certainly one of the recent ones. Now within it, I know that I can charge thousands of pounds because of what value it can bring, okay? Now you could go on Amazon and look for this iPhone and see it probably cost maybe 700 pounds. So you're already looking at me going, Jennifer, that's crazy. There's no way somebody would pay you thousands of pounds for a 700 pound iPhone. But this is the difference. When we are creating products and services for anyone, it's not about the physical thing, it's the value you're giving them. It's the experience that they will gain as a result of buying that product for you. And that's why when you're creating any income at all, you're starting from scratch, it's important to focus on the value you will give your customer. And that's what I'm gonna give you with these three side hustle ideas, but bear with me, okay? So this phone, this is my phone. I'm the only one who uses it. Let's say though, it's got all my favorite podcasts that you could listen to. It's also got all my investing videos that I like to watch and subscribe to on YouTube. It's got shortcuts to books that I've read on Amazon and I'm reading on my Kindle right now. You've also got things like all the people I talk to. There's a lot of creators and people who are entrepreneurs that I've got their phone numbers from and I'm on WhatsApp's group with. So you could actually get direct access to all those people who are building businesses that could help you with your own. And very quickly you see, it's not about the physical item, it's actually what value is contained within it. Could you put a price on all that stuff? Well, to get my phone number and the people I love, that's in there, you could have direct access to me if you like, direct access to the people that I know, the businesses that they own, the experience they have, all the podcasts, the books, and you see very quickly, I know that I could charge far more than the cost of this phone if somebody was to buy it from me. And that's what we're gonna do with these three examples. I'm going to give you ways that you can make money with books passively that does not require writing. But what you're going to do as we go through this inspiration, I want you to think about building immense value for the person that you're selling to, okay? And that could be simply that you're going to offer them so much goodness that whatever price you put on it does not matter. They'll be kind of throwing money at you. And so we'll start with the first example. So in all my examples, I'm going to be using Amazon as the way that I'm going to reach out to my customer. I use it and I actually published my own book, my first book, there's more to come, I promise you, my first book through Amazon, direct to publisher. So that means that they print this for me anytime somebody wants my book and you get a physical copy or you'll get a Kindle copy, What depending on what you like, do you get like physical product or do you like it electronically? Now you might have been on Amazon looking for different books, okay? And sometimes I know when I've been searching, I've come across books, this is one particular one that I love called The Science of Getting Rich. It's an old book, it's by Wallace D. Wattles but what struck me right away, you can see they're very, so this is a Kindle Direct book that I did, okay, not from an, a proper publisher, but from Amazon. And this feels kind of similar. And so you can see that the cover is very basic, a little bit on the back, and just standard generic pages, nothing fancy to it. And if we don't go on Amazon, I bought this a couple of years ago now, but you can see the top answers are slightly different in the way that they look. This one actually probably might be far down now, but they're all the same book. And we can see just from searching, okay, I know that actually three and a half thousand people are searching on Amazon per month for this 
book. And why is there so many versions then of books like this that are quite old, but they've got so many covers and so many people publishing them? And it's all because there's a certain period in time where books of a certain age become into the public domain, okay? It happens to be 1923 that if you've got books that were written before that time, it's actually free to download them, to read them, to get access to them, and even to use them for whatever purposes you like. That's right, these people have gone and got the book and decided that they want to provide it to the world with a different cover, maybe also some different versions of it, and we'll talk about that. Now, what I'm noticing as well, all these books are very similar. They're kind of like the same as that phone, right? They all are just offering this one book, and that's where you go into just a commodity. There's no added value, but very quickly as I look down, you can see people are offering, you know, the Kindle version. There's also people who started to add like bumper editions. So not only did they find this one book, they said, actually, I'm going to find additional books that might add value. So when somebody clicks on mine, they're not just getting this one book that I've got to compete with, you know, tens and maybe 20 other people both for that same commodity price. I'm going to bundle it for value. So where do you get access to these books? And I'll show you where. There's something called the Gutenberg Pro Project. So let me go into that for you. And this is a US based site. But look, this is a library where you can download and get access to over 60,000 free ebooks. And we can certainly do that just now. We can do the science of getting rich. And there it is right there. So you can, with one click, this is free to go on. You can get every single format they offer. There's also other different versions. So you can have EPUB versions, Kindle version. You can even get the plain text version. And then you can simply say, okay, I want to add extra value. And not just on this site, which is a great tool. You know, there really is tons. Let's think of something else. I've got lots of different suggestions here. James Allen is another great book that I read. And if I go into authors, we can see him right there as a man thinking you know, a highly read book. It's a very small book. And if I go into Amazon and look for James Allen, you can actually see, you know, again, this is a very popular book. We've got over nearly 500 people have left reviews, so it is selling. But what they're doing is also, they're taking that book and they've also added in their own notes for it. And that's what you can do with anything that's in the public domain that the copyright rights have gone into the public. You can take that book and then annotate it. You can use it as a basis of your own book. You can do whatever you want with it. So it's 1923 books then before that time qualify as in the public domain. And then what I want to do is show you, okay, let's say that I also want to look for something else. What about having these public license rights for other books? Now there are actual sites out there. They're not just old books, but people have created books and you can buy their rights to do whatever you want with them yet again. So let's say if there's books particularly about money or you know prosperity or something like that, I'm gonna show you simply by looking on Google, you can then buy the rights to do whatever you want with similar books as well. Now when you're wanting to buy a book that hasn't got the copyright in the general public like these older books, it's called private label rights. And you can simply go into Google and type in that, you know, PLR and let's say money books or finance books or sports books and it'll tend to take you to websites that do just this. So I'm in one that's actually about finance books. It's, this is called the plrstore.com and again it's the same principle. Let's say that I want to, oh there we go, create and maintain a budget. So I want to let's say focus on making books that are about budgeting. So you would simply click on that one and just in the same way you would add to cart and buy. So once you buy it you own the rights to do with it whatever you want and you can obviously check and just make sure if there's any terms and conditions this particular one, sometimes you get sales pages. So if you're making a website or you're making a click funnel or something like that, you can then obviously drive traffic to get your book. Sometimes they have graphics included. It'll tell you when it was actually made. So this is a brand new one. And you can look down and you can see also what's included in the total term. So this one we can use as a package. So you might want to do like Signs of Getting Rich, How to Budget, some other great books bundle them together and put them on Amazon. This also is, you, you do have the master rights, you can resell, that means you can charge people money for it, and you can even completely edit it and put your name on it. So if you're looking for one easy way to actually start offering value, I would say start by looking for what is in the public domain right now, some of the old books that you might love, can you actually make them better by adding in some of these newer ones out there? But could you even, let's say, take a really famous person, their book, 
books and then go off and find books that might not be that well known. You can actually look to see if there's any private label rights or versions of books that they have using Google and buy them to then make a better bundle. And then what happens next? Well, simply I would use something like Fiverr and I would search for ebook designer or, you know, ebook cover. Let's look for that. And what you would want, if you've got a little bit of money to spend, you want to do it right, you could simply spend, you know, there's some people for £3.78. I would use people who are talented at designing book covers, pay a little bit of money and actually get a book cover that looks incredible. You could obviously use as well if you were using canva.com. So let me just do that. Canva.com is free. But again, you could create your own if you want. And it really is as simple as then setting up an account in Kindle Direct Publishing. You would simply add a new book. These are my two books. You would put that all together. You've got your book cover. You've got your book that you've formatted. Maybe you've downloaded the PDF for the Kindle version. And that is is you because you own the rights to that book you can start selling it and when we look at numbers you know just as an example even James Allen that has 165,000 people looking for his books on Amazon every month that's a good chunk even if you were to get a little portion of it as his title suggests you could be making easily hundreds if not thousands of pounds if you see what other people are doing find value, find ways to add more value than just simply a single book. You could really make this a great business for you when there's free stuff out there that you could then give people value for money. Even if you've got to buy a couple of books on top or buy an e-cover, that could really be something that is not only just four pounds a book you're charging, you could be charging 15, 20 pounds for. Now keep in mind as well, when we're talking about using the Kindle store, there is charges. They give you about 60% of the profits roughly. So whatever prices you're charging, bear that in mind. You're not gonna get the full amount that you're selling it for. You are gonna get a cut of it. So the next way you can make money is selling books, again, without writing. Another great tool that I'm going to introduce you to, this is called Book Bolt. Okay, I'm gonna leave the link down below. It's my affiliate link where you can actually get a part of a free trial. I've also got a code that gives you money off if you do sign up with them for long term. Now this is without doubt one of the most useful tools for also creating books. And we're gonna focus on, for this next part, low content books. What are they? So I've talked about books, physical books, that people have written as option one in these side hustles, but we're talking about things that people might want to buy but might even not require that much content in there in the first place. So absolutely anyone could do these next two ideas. The first one I want to introduce you to the concept is thinking about journals, okay? So I'm gonna search for gratitude journal within Amazon. And you can see a lot of people really enjoy using these type of journals. Perhaps it's got certain pictures, like pictures of cats and dogs. Everybody likes to do these things to record their thoughts. And sometimes you can't find a book in the bookshop that's exactly what you want. And this is where low content books are ideal, especially for us creating passive income as well. It doesn't really require too much design effort, but it is making a great value item for the customer. So going back to Book Bolt, this particular website, the whole point of it is helping you find niche areas where low content books are in demand, okay? So a great place to start, let me do that, is you click on Cloud, and you can certainly can work through it. As I say, my link is down below. And it's a really easy tool that you simply want to focus on notebooks, journals, music sheets. Think about guitar music, even just music clefs for people to write on. We're all looking for these kind of journals or notebooks anyway that people will be looking for. You can have calendars or planners. So I'm gonna go with notebook. And with one click, it's actually gonna tell me for my research, what are the most popular notebooks that Amazon is selling right now, this low content books? So for example, we've got a sketchbook, okay? Looking at this, it's got you know a huge number of ratings, over 7,000, which means that it's definitely sold at least 10, if not 12,000 minimum. The price is just over $4. It's been out for over two, well, nearly two years now. And then the average sales, as we can see here, is 513 books. Now, I hear what you're saying. Okay, if we go into Amazon and have a look, I can see, well, by the looks of it, it definitely looks really simple, not even given any in-depth, and that's because it's probably simply 120 pages of blank paper. So that is making 
thousands of dollars every single month for being blank paper. Now, the reason it's popular, I have no doubt, is because it's a really nice cover, I like that, but people want notebooks. They want to be able to go on Amazon and just get something $6, the price of about four or five pounds. Great, 120 pages to doodle away. So let's go back again and see what else makes the cut. So we've got things like another notebook, another notebook there. And this is when we start to see a bit more creativity. Please excuse the profanity, but you can see that people start to have fun with these covers. Now that particular one that was obviously a bit of a, an adult book, if you like, that is actually selling estimated over 300 books a month, okay? Low content, it is probably just a case of an organizer inside. It's been around less than two years and it's under $7, so about five, six pounds. That means that person is making over a thousand dollars a month easily with that one notebook, okay? And if we go down, we've got handwriting practice paper, so you can keep really looking in and seeing there's a whole host of different journals that you probably wouldn't have thought of would be selling huge amounts on Amazon, making people some serious passive income. Remember, they've created it once and then they keep selling it. This is monthly income to them and they've sold huge amounts of these books. So the next thing is using this tool. Okay, you found a couple of niches, we can do this again. Let's look in planners we can have a little search and it's searching Amazon for us and it's going to say okay these are the most popular so these are about you know monthly bills and things like that and then we've got things about you know making sure you got your wedding together and even something like that that's selling new nearly 300 copies a month of something that costs nine dollars and if we have a look on that we can see that probably they're not even showing it inside. So I've no doubt there might not be that much detail in there, but it's notebooks for budgets and checklists. And you're saying to yourself, okay, I get it. There's a lot of scope here where people are making some good money. So how do we start to make it? So now we've researched the market to find actual niches that are going to make us some money, hopefully if we create something good. And you need to be aware, you know, on Amazon, you're the customer as well. You've got to make things that are attractive and actually people would be attracted to. So you could even do things like looking for Harry Potter. You could say, could I do some print on demand for that? You know, there's something this looks really quite straightforward. It's a paperback. So it's just a, just line blank paper and they've made a Harry Potter logo and they're selling it for five pounds. You know, it's things like that where there might be a niche market that you could actually use. So let's say you actually want to make this journal. So I'm using Book Bolt yet again. I'm going to use, you can use two things. So the first thing is the Bolt Designer. And the first thing you do is you would set up your page sizes. Do you want in color? How many pages? I'm going to make this a hundred page book. You'd hit submit and it's going to create that for you. Now with that saying that it was going to be 100 pages, this is actually the outside cover it's going to generate. So we don't have to use Canva, you can actually use this tool. And what it does with that 100 pages, it's actually made the thickness of the spine the right amount. And that's something that we need to have exact when we're using Amazon Kindle Direct. They need the cover to match in with how many pages you're actually including in it. So then you could simply, you know, do whatever you fancy. We can add in lots of different clip art. Let's even go for images. Is there anything that we can have a look at? Um, let's have a look for cats. We can do there. So there we go. I'm just randomly making up stuff. So you could have a picture of the cat. I like that. Try and get the cat over like that. That's on the back page. So you could, of course, add in some text as well. We'll make that a different color, I think, for sure, because you can't really read it. So let's see, you know, I'm not going to win any awards for this book. So let's say we've got the front cover and the back cover sorted. Then of our notebook, you want to actually click on Interior Pro. Now this means that they actually give you, would you believe, a whole host of templates to use that then they can create your PDF document for your notebook, okay? So we've got the outside cover, we want to now create the inside. So you could simply have, you know, blank pages and we can use this tool to keep going. Let's do that we're going to add 50 blank pages, going to close that and it's going to do that for us. Let me do that again. And it has, it's added in all of them. Let's say then that we want to add, so we've got 50 blank pages and then perhaps having a little rule, having a little look down, you can add, there's so much in here, you know, we've got organizers and different pages and reading lists. Now these are fixed and I'm going to show you that if you want to use something a bit different, of course you can, but you're literally using this tool to build 
your document out, okay? And then you would simply select the right size and then tell it to download. Now, if, and that's it downloaded for me. And there we go, it's actually got the document there. It's popped open. Let me scroll down to number 50, where it all started to change a little bit and you can see it changes. Okay, so that's where that you get the PDF document of your notebook and you've also got your cover. Now, if you don't like any of those, of course, you can actually use something like Canva, the same principle, where you're actually creating then your pages. So for example, you could have something like this, just clicking on this, you could then you know do different pages, I could remove things, keep in the same style, you could add in a different quote there, and you could actually add in some elements like text boxes, you could add in a box like this to allow somebody to actually do a bit of writing, a bit of space, and again, we would simply hit download, and let's say we could do that multiple times, make it many, many pages, you would hit download, download as a PDF, and that you've got the contents of your book. Now, when we actually want to put all of that together, and let's say you've got many different sections, you might have blank pages and line pages, you can use something really as simple as an online PDF merger. Okay, I went to ilovepdf.com, and you could actually add all your PDF files. If you've got line paper, if you've got graph paper, you can make it one whole document. So there's lots of tools out there completely for free. I will say, you know, if you find it is too complicated doing your own cover, you could even look and see what's popular on Amazon in your niche that you want to target. Use something like Fiverr again, ask somebody to make you something really great for a couple of pounds and there you go, you've got your cover. Same process as before, just in the same as we're making these books, you would simply upload it to Amazon Kindle Publishing Direct they will then manage it for you. So every time someone clicks on it, they would then send it to them. Now, the great thing about Bookbolt as well, when we're thinking about these low content books is it's not only for finding niches and creating, it actually allows us to then be notified of when things that potentially are profitable niches come out. So, you know, and another thing that we're going to talk about, this is where the category finder is. So, in, you know, you can actually look and see, okay, I've looked for morning routine. So is there any key things that I could look for here? You would search there and it'll help you find tags and keywords that allow you to then save those correctly for your book. So we're now coming on to the third and final way that you can make money selling books without actually having to write anything. We've covered low content books. We've also covered adding value with other people's works that we can get the copyright to. This third way is actually puzzle books, okay? So I'm gonna actually show you again using BookBolt. This actually has a tool, would you believe, that allows you to create puzzle books. How fantastic is that? So going back to Amazon, as we always do, I just actually typed in Sudoku books for adults as one example. And why I say these are some niches that people might think are really complicated, they wouldn't have a clue how to do. There's tools out there we can actually use to create these products yet again. So the first one I pulled up, well, this is sold over, you know, 180, it's probably closer to about 400 copies. It's only been out for about nine months as I make this video, and that's got 1,300 puzzles, okay? And it can be really as simple as even things like, uh, we'll use another branding, but let's say Disney ones, right? You could really go quite obscure and think, what could I actually offer people as extra value? Well, I put in Disney, but there's not a lot about that. They've got rainbow here, they've got adult activity books, and you can see this one, the adult activity book, it's got puzzles and things like that. That's sold well over 3,000 copies, and it'll be using this same principle. And there's always a good comedy book whenever I do searches for things. Okay, so how do we do them? The same principle applies. You can create, first of all, the book cover. I would use BookBolt, you know, using BookBolt Designer, you can do that. You can then also use something like Canva. So we've got our outside cover made. You could, again, use Fiverr if you're wanting to pay for a cover. Look and see what other people are doing who've ranked really high and copy it and make it better though. So don't copy it exactly, make it better, use it for inspiration. So within BookBolt, we can actually create puzzles, which I absolutely adore. So let's say, for example, I've gone for Sudoku, and then we can choose a size, double-sided, yeah, let's actually have a single-sided pages. I want 100 pages, and um, I can choose the font that I want as well. Difficulty, okay, let's have them hard. Let's see that nine by nine, oh goodness, yeah, I'm 16 by 16. Now this is the great thing, okay? You can actually include solutions, you can match them, and you can have page numbers, so it's giving you lots of different. I hit submit, 
and it's going to create that for me. So it's a completely randomly generated puzzle creator. And looking down the side, we've got crosswords and word search, and I'll talk you through a little bit of them. There's even join the dots, there's dot to dots that you could create. So, you know, I'm thinking of adults wanting to do these kind of fun things. What comes to mind is you can actually do a word search as crosswords. You can input the words you want to use. They can also be randomly generated, but you could create things like a Harry Potter word search, or, you know, Disney characters or dinosaurs. The, the limit is endless for what you can create. So as that processes, which takes a couple of minutes, you then are given a PDF document that is your copyright to then sell just in the same way as these other documents. And so there you go, after a couple of minutes, it's outputted the document, which we sat it as single-sided. So that means that on the first page, it's gonna be the thing, and you've got a blank page on the other side. And it has given us a book, as you can see, it's got 321 pages in it. So it's a huge book, and we've got well over then 100 odd puzzles that we can actually sell to someone. And the great thing is it's also given us the solutions. So you're also including the puzzles and you've got the solutions for the person. And what I would do is actually use this tool and like the example in Amazon there that seemed to be really popular, it's a couple of years old, you could actually merge a couple of different of these PDFs together. So for example, you know, let's say you wanted to focus on something that's a bit more niche. It could be dinosaurs for a kid's book, a puzzle book. You could say, I'm gonna create a word search. These are my words and it will do that for you. You could then have some Sudokus as some fun. You could then have some dot to dots and you would use that merger tool that's online. I love PDF, merge them all together and there's your book. So you can really, there's no end to actually what you can create with this particular tool. I really love it. And as I say, I really hope that these book ideas of how you can actually create books and sell books, making thousands of pounds a month for free in most cases, and even with little content being created, and even without any writing. I hope it's been really super useful for you. I'd love to hear if there's one that stood out that you want to try. So a couple of things I want to call out, of course, the links down below, you've got a link to Book Bolt. There's also a discount code if you fancy signing up and using it yourself, that's great. I'll leave links to some of the major websites that I've mentioned here. I'll also leave things like Gutenberg Project where you can get access to the older books, some other recommended websites that you can go and check out. But I really hope this has inspired you. This is certainly some way that you can actually be making side hustle income and you don't even have to rely on actually making the content really yourself. A lot of it's done for you. So if you have enjoyed today's video, why not check out this video right here? It's on a similar topic. And I would also love if you would hit subscribe and follow my channel. We cover everything from personal finance, investing, and side hustle ideas. I want you to have to success with your money and I believe it's creating passive incomes. It changed our life and I hope it will yours too. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very soon.